Uh, hello, my name is uh, Morten Peterson and uh, this is Janus Heide. We are working with the Mobile Devices Group at uh, Aalborg University. And in uh, this uh, small video, we would like to demonstrate or show uh, a project that we've done uh, using network coding on uh, state-of-the-art mobile devices and investigate whether or not network coding could be brought to these types of devices. So uh, what we've built for that purpose is a small uh, testbed which really allows us to look into uh, uh, implementation issues and uh, other issues arising when uh, trying to implement this type of technique on th uh, so that kind of devices. And uh, on the testbed uh, software which we have running here uh, on this laptop, we can control different parameters regarding uh, the, the tests that we run. Uh, for example, uh, the size of the files that we're using and uh, the size of the generation that we are using and how many packets to code together and stuff like that. And uh, to the laptop here we have an access point connected uh, through which we talk to the cluster of mobile devices which we have over here. Uh, and um, on uh, the mobile devices we have uh, also developed some software which Janus will talk a little bit about. Yeah. So basically what we would like to see was that how we, if we could bring a random network coding onto these his phones and the challenges that could arise. So what we just did was we built a, a Goliath field implementation and on top of that we have matrix implementation and, then, and with that we can do randomly in a network coding. So basically what we do is that we have uh, over on this laptop we have a, a file and from that we, cre we draw, we make uh, random uh, linear combinations and we transmit those to the phone and if we just start this, the, this test then we can see that the phones hopefully receive data. <coughs> and each time it receives a new linear independent combination, it will add that to the data it has already received, and it will draw a blue square on the screen. And if one of the of the packets it received was uh, linear dependent of what it had before, then it would be red instead, and therefore it would be unusable, basically. So what we found in this project, the, the challenges that we found was that of course, we have these uh, battery uh, uh, constrained, constrained uh, devices, uh, and they have very limited CPU compu or computational power. So, one of the challenge, one of the challenges that we found was that uh, these kind of operations are very uh, computational, have high re computational requirements. So, uh, it uh, this implementation runs on the on the phones, but not at a very high uh, throughput, so that needs to be improved. 